And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Riven Lee Sin. Kicking off the day today, we're going to be playing some fun Ionia decks today. Um, I don't know, kind of felt like playing Ionia. So we got, um, let's see, we have Riven Lee Sin, Shen Fiora, Lulu Taric, and Sivir Zed. So Lee Sin, Shen, Lulu, and Zed all going to be our Ionia champions that we'll be playing. Uh, I've had different people ask for a Riven deck. We haven't played Riven in a while, and kind of thinking like what I wanted to do with Riven. Um, I do have a donation deck to play Riven Victor, kind of a meme tier version of Riven Victor on Meme Tier Monday, uh, upcoming this next week, and so we'll be doing that. Uh, but you know, I was thinking what else to do, and decided to kind of go with Lee Sin, of course, because Riven can create these extra blade fragments, which will be more focus speed spells, which will help out um Lee Sin because of course you need to cast a good amount of spells to level up Lee Sin and then once you have your leveled up Lee Sin you still have to cast spells to give it um the challenge and Dragon's Rage and all that kind of stuff so we go with that um we'll be having our Dancing Droplet Retreat Return um Homecoming kind of that's going to be in that's going to be a staple in a lot of our decks today I think that that's just a really really good quality um you know and then Shadow Assassin also I think it's a really good quality package so we'll have all that going on. We'll have some Eye of the Dragons, be able to heal, or get get some Nexus Healing, Spirit's Refuge, Deep Meditation for some extra card advantage, one Captain Farron for uh, late game if you know, we need it, we got it, and plus it's another way to create some spells. Um, and that's kind of about it. Like Rune Weaver is another good card that, to like retreat return, um, pick it back up, put it back into play with uh, Reforging and stuff. So let's go ahead and give it a try. We'll start with Riven Lee Sin. We'll go play five games in rank with each deck today. Sivir Renekton Sejuani. This overwhelmed deck is always pretty difficult to defeat. Um, their stuff is just so large. Homecoming can help us out. Homecoming can stop a Battle Fury. We got our Co Cosmic Exile Riven, our Cosmic Exile Riven card back. We got our Lee Sin board. Concussive Palms can be good against big Overwhelm stuff too. Obviously the um, Spell Shield though is going to be like the biggest problem, right? Like if they have Sivir and um, Ruin Runner. So I'm hoping not Sivir and Ruin Runner. <laughs> Raised by wolves or lunar beasts. Oh no, get out of the way. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Don't, I don't really have the abilities to stop Spell Shield, unfortunately. Cool. Not a Spell Shield. The Concussive Palm, of course, is another good card to Homecoming. Yeah, they can have some Battle Furies. Love it when they run. No turning back now. After them. The 
Winter's Claw! That's right! Run! You will not break me! Hoping to be able to kill the Ruin Runner. Of course, that Ruin Runner is just. Because that spell shield is just so annoying. Yeah, that's true. I guess I could have played the Droplet first, and then I would have been able to recall the Droplet. Recall on the Yeti, of course, puts it back up to seven. The dark beckons. Gonna find a gift for Renekton, right, Arda? You've got a problem. Oh, I've gross. Got a price. I fight with my spirit, not my Rose. face. So I've already played the plus two plus zero one. Fly to them on broken wings. I am reformed. Certainly assuming that, like, if I if I put the um, Blade of the Exile on the Riven, the Riven won't be able to attack. Or, so sorry, the Riven's gonna die. Like, I can't stop the Sivir from killing my Riven. What is malevolence? Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna be trying to kill them with Elusives next round. Business as usual. The Winter's Claw! We'll get our licks in! I guess that would probably make the most sense. Yeah, this is... I could play this during combat, right? It's not... Is it... Yeah, it's Fleeting Burst. It's not Focus. Okay. <laughs> so make it, I didn't think it was Focus Speed, but just double-checking, just making sure. Alright, that'll do. Good win. Good win. Brom Jarvin... I like Brom Jarvin. I don't want to face Brom Jarvin. Brom Jarvin, cool. Yuck. What are these hands? Four spells. Send it back. Four spells. We have 21 units, 19 spells. So less, a little bit less than half the deck is spells. You know, 19 spells. All in, Lee Sin. We got you, Beast. Beast, I'm gonna have to put you in the. You're gonna have to get in the deck. Or get in the game here. Beast is like, put me in, coach. I got this. Mm. 
Join the hunters, they say. I guess I'll just keep them from getting a 5-5 right now. I think it's a pretty good use of a deny. Kill a 5-5. Five five. Nope, a 5 would have been a little better. Let us get going. You once played a Pursuit of Perfection deck that had three Pursuit of Perfection and you never got the card and you only had five cards left in your deck. That is unfortunate. Um, I can probably play Lisa in here, right? I might as well wait till after combat. Like they're they're certainly challenging. Yep, yo. Know, the latest cards, yeah, there's the five Bilgewater cards today. The two units both look outstanding and Lurk overall is starting to look very powerful. They're really giving us a lot of tools for Lurk. Force is meaningless without skill. Who does not know the name Laurent? I'm skeptical that the landmark will end up in Lurk decks. It'll like make the cut. How you can only play 40 cards and everything. Skeptical there. The conflict is all in the mind. So we have ha so far we've drawn half of the spells in our deck. Oh, that was worth getting some damage in on the Screeching Dragon, because Screeching Dragon's super scary. So everything they got going on is pretty scary. A lot of stuff I don't like. Our enemies cannot hide. The dragon spirit awakens. Right. Oh. My lands need prepare yourself. If they use like any kind of pump spell to save the Braum, it gets bounced. I don't know if it levels up and gets like will this level up? Like let's say they use a, a sharp sight or you know a troll chant, either of those, and they save it. Does this get bounced with the dragon's rage or does it level up? I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna work. I hope it just gets bounced with the dragon's rage and doesn't level up. Ah, oh, it does level up. Gross. Man, I should have challenged the Screeching Dragon then. That's a big mistake by me. Yeah, Sonic, it's kind of risky though. I mean, yeah, we could go with the Sonic Wave to kill it, but then my Shadow Assassin dies. I'm not like putting anything else on the board. Um, and then I don't have the Sonic Wave for like future turn. 
I, I definitely should have challenged the Screeching Dragon. I didn't think it would level up. I was hoping it wouldn't. At the very least. What has gained when you deployed malevolence? Breathe in, breathe out. Run them through. Pause their fair. Let's go our friends the door. This is fun, yes? Have you met my shield? So doing this one first to make sure it, so like the protege will die. So that then they have room for the 3-3. Three, three. Card could also help. Those are some cards that can help. We know they have the one mana five five is one of the three cards in hand. The Yeti from the Avaros and Trapper. Our enemies cannot hide. Strike firm. Center your spirit. Cannot hide. Face me. Over there. I guess because of I had the dragon, maybe I should be letting this three two die. Ice shards, though. All right, we'll have room for the draggling. What is gained in the turn malevolence? <laughs> no idea what this health is. All right, one, one health. So it's a 4-1 tough and a 4-2 four, four tough and a 4-1 tough. Yeah, I was going for killing the Brahma. Could have could have gone for maximum damage with having these things. Oh, no. Oh, that changes things. That changes things. Mm. Jarvan levels up. Okay. I guess I, did, I was looking at it and I realized that I, I wasn't going to cast the Homecoming right there. I realized that, uh, you know, they have no cards in hand. They th It's not lethal. All I have to do is just play the two Decimates. And that game's over. So that's what I was going to do. And my opponent realized that too. Alright, Jarvan Chen. Playing against Jarvan back to back. Last game we had all the spells. Uh, this <laughs> this game all the units. I'll keep the units. We'll probably draw into a couple of spells to help out our units. Probably. <laughs> I like that for the Gooba for the last game. The Poro stats are for Kapow. Oops, I guess I can't attack. That was what the Poro stats were. What 
order changes, but never... But the warrior finds to wield a weapon. The heart and mind to aim its strike. You're in over your head. Your fate was written. So spending two mana for sharp sight. Um, you know, I'll take that. They, you know, replace the sharp sight with a different card in hand. It's fun. That's just the way it is. I'm cold, I'm hungry, and there's rocks in me boots. I'm sorry, who are you? I don't want them sharp sighting and blocking and killing the ribbon. Draw two, uh, draw two spells. Two worlds, one balance. It must be done. Engulf them. It must be done. I mean, everything must be done. The river shapers have given them plenty of corns. The spirit gives to those who listen. Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, master. Go for this first, because you know, like they're they're not in a very good spot to like play any any blocker anyway. And yeah, if they want to spend four mana on deny on this, I'm I'm fine with that. We do know they have a whole bunch of spells in their hand, of course, from the River Shapers. I don't think that they play Concussive Palm. I mean, maybe they maybe they do, but if if I would have just attacked, they could have Concussive Palmed also. So like that doesn't really affect anything. Huh. I suppose River Shaper, or sorry, I suppose uh, Radiant Guardian's a card. That was good though. If I would have open attacked, we would have dealt, you know, a little bit more damage. But you know, they would have had the four five Radiant Guardian. Now they have the four one Radiant Guardian. So that's good. Yeah, Lulu Terex is going to be a lot of fun later. Uh, definitely not a right pre-built deck. We don't have like that much. Yeah, those are good cards. Oh, 
Those are quite good cards. I don't have that that much support. We have we have, we have some support, but all right. So is that the second or third single combat? Third. So that's their third single combat. Seriously? Yeah, I guess so. It's a good draw. Dude, they already used all their single combats and cataclysms. <laughs> now for this Novify, that's too bad. That's a card. I've got your back. You've used what? Has it just been one sharp sight so far? I think just one sharp sight. So far. So they had the Jarvan strike first, so that therefore the Radiant Guardian didn't heal their Nexus at all. If I bounce that, does it still rally? Yeah, it still rallies. So I might as well block and then bounce. Once more, soldier of Demacia! You will be scoured from this land! Okay, we got two blades for Riven. Not easy. So assuming like they're attacking like this, challenging the 8-8, um, you know, it's like, do, would I want to have one of these block the 6-3, like with the Jarvan? This is not easy. I just don't have like the spells to turn on the barrier for the Lee Sin right now. Or just take all the damage. Um, if they, because if they play like, if I block, if I have like Riven block the Jarvan, okay, they're gonna go this route. And so if they have like any kind of spell that like keeps this thing alive then the Jarvan levels up because it's at three out of four, so then it's a six four, so then I don't get a good block. Justice will be served. Force is meaningless without skill. No turning back now. I don't have the quick attack one. Okay, there's the blade. I was gonna say, like, where's where's my quick attack? This Riven level 2 art's kind of weird, if, like just like the zoomed in. Who dares defy my will? Sure. Up. 
Thinking that's concerted strike number two. Nope. Alright, that'll do. I thank you, Dragon. 3 0 for Riven Leeson. First three. Zoe Shivana. So, yeah, so far so good. Friday fun day. Um, I guess I'm keeping all this. They go like round one Zoe. That'd be annoying. But I don't see anything here to uh, mulligan. Probably going Shadow Assassin on three, Riven on four. I'm cold, I'm hungry, there's rocks in the boats. What's up, Squire? Um, yeah, if you want to make this more aggro, Scorpy says I like the deck, but it's not quite my speed. Can we make it more aggro? Absolutely. You basically, you can, you kind of play a little bit more combo oriented with Riven and Lee Sin and have cards like Might and uh, more ways to give them quick attack. And then you can get, have like the the double attack card in Ionia. You can have like Might in, and so you can have like Might plus double attack, double attack overwhelm, um, you know, combo with that. You have like the Riven Champion spell, or sorry, the Riven Blade Fragment that gives quick attack to then give double attack. You can have the Ionia one mana card plus one plus zero in quick attack. And so you kind of, you can put those together with double attack and overwhelm. And of course the overwhelm from this blade also. Because like, Lee Sin double attack overwhelm is like 20 damage. <laughs> it's like, no matter what they have. So yeah, you can do all that kind of stuff and, you know, not have like the, the bounce spells and things like that. And you can make it very aggro. So unfortunately I did have Zoe. We'll have to Sonic Wave challenge that next round. They have the best card in their deck. You cannot escape. I can also just give this plus two, plus zero, for like the... Probably forces them to use a Sharp Sight would be my guess. Whoa, that's great. Sure. That is just not a good use of resources. That, <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Okay, um, so I probably want to play the Lee Sin next round and have spells available. No, let's let's play Ribbon. Yeah, so that would be, that'd be me keeping my spell mana up to be able to play Lee Sin with spell mana. But no, I, actually, I won't. Let's play with the Ribbon and get. Uh, Get some more blade fragments, and then probably not playing Lisa next round. Yeah, I'll take I'll take my my one mana two one that whenever it dies gives me a resource. I will trade that with single combat all day long. That's just such a great trade for me. Such a bad use of single combat. Got plus two plus zero and overwhelm. The cost of war. Yeah, 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 man. Screeching Dragon's so good. Okay, retrieve, retrieve Return can be useful. Okay, so I can either Retreat, put that back in my hand. No harm, no foul. But they still have this thing. I could just use the Riven's Weapon Hilt, which does mean I don't have any Riven's left. And then I'm... I'm all in Lee Sin, but that does kill this Screeching Dragon, which is pretty nice. I think they're going to struggle killing this Lee Sin. I think I want to do this. I think this Lee Sin can own.
I have 10 cards in hand, so I do have to play something else. This retreat return would still have me have 10 cards in hand. I guess we may just burn the top card of our deck. So I'm letting that resolve, then put this back into my hand. Oh, I don't get the return? Oh, that's not as good. I don't get the return. That's not as good. Force is meaningless without skill. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not so good. We have 21 units, 19 spells. Plus we have Eye of the Dragon that makes Draglings, which is more units. I'm playing all three spells because it's uh, Lee Sin is three spells away from leveling up. So I want to have the Dragon's Rage ability. Lee just throws shade as well as knives. <laughs> but did Lee have the roast? I, I missed it. Okay. So let's see what we got. Nopeify. So we got a Nopeify. We got a Deny. So we got protection that way. This will give me three mana left. It's all about hush, right? It's all about hush. Our enemies cannot hide. That's the only card in, in the entire game that can save them right now. There is nothing else, because hush gets rid of the overwhelm at least. So we know that they have they have six cards in hand. We know that they have um, a, an expensive invoke card from the star shaping. We know they have a cheap invoke card. And we know that they have a dragon. Oh, no, no, I guess the dragon was just something that was in play before, so. And that's still... Oh, right, because then that thing dies, then that doesn't kill them. All right, well. I'll amplify that. We know they have two invoke cards, something from the, the Zoe, how it got the spell. So two of those five cards don't matter. All right, I don't have any more protection left. They need yet another fight spell or hush. Again, two of those four cards don't matter. Why didn't I draw first in case of hush? Because basically that, like if I spent three mana for Shadow Assassin, I would have less protection available. Less mana for protection. I didn't need to draw it. Like there's nothing for me to draw. Because hush just keeps them alive, but it doesn't help them win the game. It just keeps them alive for that round. And Len Green. Ooh, we are facing some burn. Hopefully we don't get burned. What do I think of Nopify? I guess probably not. I mean, I want... All right, so we need spells for Eye of the Dragon, but... And cheap spells. Like, these are cheap spells. That's cool. 
We'll send him back though. Cycle Cap Boot is going crazy. Gifting out some subs. Thank you, Boot. Fourth sub of the day. Thank you. This is not a good trade for my opponent. Because I get a spell, so that's good. But then also... Um, I'm going to drop by the dragon later, because I'm, I'm not like going to be getting a uh, draggling anytime soon. But besides that, of course, they want to go wide, because they have things like vision and um, the four mana overwhelm dude and arena battle caster and all that kind of stuff. So they want to go wide. Play the shadow Okay, let's see. To serve the greater good. Greater good. I have the best job. I was going to say there's a decent chance that they played a champion right here. Need like some challenger. Something to take down a Jinx. Alright, let's get that five, five win dream. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. No, they're back. Good luck. I don't know if they disconnect. They back. Elect. We will elect to disconnect. You should try blinking sometime. Yeah, sometime. So I can use like the plus two plus zero barrier. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm doing, isn't it? I guess they could have another mystic shot though. Another mystic shot would be kind of rough. I kind of want to, you know, block the jinx, go spirits refuge. Let's just do this. That's fine, I'll heal my Nexus. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> the dragon lives. That was one of the worst cards possible for me to see. Pass priority. Pass. Go to damage. Yay! Damage. Rules are made to be broken. Like villains. Her people. Breathe in, breathe out. Boo. The answer is yes. Oh, that is great. I could seek a patient first, I'll just hold the seek a patient. The reason why this is great is because we get to put the Jinx back into their hands. And now they're gonna discard Jinx. Oh, and they discarded Jinx's get excited? So they're out of Jinx in their deck. So their hand was just Jinx Jinx whenever they were thinking about saving their Jinx. They definitely should have just play the champion spell and save their Jinx. See the world from behind a basilisk. Alright, so there's no more Jinx in their entire deck. That's gonna make it a lot more difficult for them to win. And what was the other card they discarded? Watch and learn. Another Augmented Experimenter also. So they probably only have the two Augmented Experimenters. So they're probably out of Augmented Experimenter and Jinx. Probably. I fight with 
my spirit, not my fist. Yeah, good luck with that, kiddo. I'm playing one of these. I guess it's the quick attack. So I'm playing one to get the second spell for the Eye of the Dragon, so we can get the Dragonling next round. The plus two, plus zero, the quick attack. What is gained when we return malevolence? Oh, our tree return's kind of cool. Do I want to slam you, Captain Farron, or... Yeah. Looking good, kid. Stay away from that switch. So many questions. I stand for Noxers. I gotta work with this Joker. Well, that's exactly what they needed. I stand for Noxers. I gotta work with this Joker. Pick this back up. Let's boogie. Yeah, that was. Is that all you got? The only cart, you know, the only threat left in their deck. <laughs> the matter, crowd favorite. That was pretty good. We're still in there. My quick attack? Overwhelm? I guess I gotta worry about the overwhelm. Depending on, you know, like a syncopation might have been really nice there, depending on what they had. We got this, though. Yeah, we got this. That'll do. 5 and 0 oh for Riven Lee Sin. Let's go. So slower deck, um, you, you're going to have a lot of interactions. This is a tough one to play. You're going to have a lot of decisions to make. But I know there's a lot of people out there that like playing Lee Sin decks. And also a lot of people that have been asking for a Riven deck. And so this is what I recommend for a Riven deck. We kind of talked in there, if you, if you were listening, uh, did talk about how there is a way to make this deck a lot more aggressive. If you're somebody who who's kind of an aggro player that wants to play this, where you can play um, cards... Like you can play thing like Rush to be able to give quick attack. You have the Ribbon um, Blade to be able to give quick attack. Phantom, getting the sub. Thank you, Boo. And then you go Flurry of Fists, uh, being able to go double attack with these things. And then, of course, also the Overwhelm from the different blades. And you can play Might. And, you know, so playing like Might, Flurry of Fists. I don't, but that that deck is just not going to be able to play as well of a long game, and it's also going to be, um, you know, so it's going to be a lot more combo oriented. And I think this is just a good solid list that can play a good long game and and uh, everything like that. And and as we saw, it also has like a lot of life steal with the spirits refuges and the draglings, so you can also, you know, so you can get to the late game. And we got lots of card advantage to the dancing droplets. Um, you know, Homecoming package is awesome. Of course, Concussive Palm, Homecoming, awesome. You can really play a good long game here. You have Deep Meditations, Shadow Assassins, lots of ways to draw cards. Um, and then, of course, Lee Sin, Captain Farron. These things can finish out games. So definitely very impressed here with the Riven Lee Sin deck. And uh, that's the first of four fun Ionia decks that I put together for today. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that one. Um, those y'all watching later on YouTube, 
hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. And uh, you know, if you try this deck out yourself, let me know how it's going for you. Or if you want to talk about any of the new cards or anything like that, you know, always feel uh, feel free to leave those comments. I appreciate them. But that's going to be it here for Riven Lee Sin. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.